did a lot of time Sitting down here by this lake A lot of things went through my mind Should I go or should I? There's another ride from Maple Motors, a 1960 model Impala. This one's got a believe to be 283 under the hood with power steering, no power brakes. Should be a good test drive. Three on the tree. You've got drum brakes all the way around this ride. You've got the nice matching interior. It's white and black. Dual exhaust. Sounds great. Check out the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping. And of course, every Monday we get new cars. You can see about 60 cars a month come through Maple Motors here. And Monday's your best chance. We don't have a list, so don't call and ask to be put on the list. That'll just save you a little time, save us some time as well, since we have almost every single call if somebody wants to be on a list. If we had one, I'm telling you, it'd be like a whole notebook, probably every month. <laughs> All right, guys. Sit back, relax. It's about that time. Oh, hey there. What's up? You want to go for a ride? Let's go. Before we take off, let's check out the interior and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a little game we like to play on the channel. This dash is pretty. I really like this car. Something about a 60 Impala. Look at the seats of this thing. It does attract the girls sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> the back looks awesome. That's on speaker back there package tray it's decent a little wavy headliner oh man that looks like brand new somebody just brushed that <laughs> let's go ahead and turn her on it does have a choke right here and it's hooked up so that's good fan lower motors working we will not have ac on this one gas gauge we're going to be going to the gas station this is maxed out on full a lot of times when it does that it's unhooked from the tank wipers Let's not get caught in the rain. Uh, showing 64,000 miles, hard to stand behind that in a 1960 model. Radio, looks like it's upgraded, but did they hook it up? It's not cutting on. I don't believe they hooked it up. Uh, what do they got going on here? This is definitely an add-on. Oh, the original book that come with the car. And horn. Hey, it works. All right, guys. Let's take her down the road. All right. We're getting ready to take off. She's good and warm now. Looks like the temperature gauge did come up. Let's check her out. Clutch is letting out pretty high, really. Yeah, it's letting out on the top end there. I'll get used to it though. Brakes. Whoa, whoa. There's no seat belts in this one, guys, so hang on. Speedometer is coming up on the dash. Gas pedal's stiff, so that makes it a little bit difficult. Almost needs to be lubed up. As far as going straight, does have a little bit of a left pull. Yeah, that gas pedal's sticky in this one. Very smooth going down the road, but it definitely is pulling to the left. That big old steering wheel there, a little bit of slack in it. Nobody's behind us, so hang on. Man, drum brakes, they stop pretty fast. That's good. No race car. This is a cruiser. Turn signals. They pop up on the left side, but they don't flash, and the light on the right side is not working, so. Grinds a little bit going back into first there. Let's see if we can find us a spot to get fuel. I think right here would be pretty good. All right, guys. Gas gauge is maxed out. I'm just going to make sure that we have fuel so we don't break down. I'll be right back. Okay, I got to talking to that woman in there and put $50 in this one. So 
fifty dollars worth of premium fuel in this ride. Got us about ten gallons. And the door is a little sticky there. All right, let's go ahead and head out of here. All right, guys, heading back to the lot now. Throttle's still a little bit sticky on this one. Let's see here. Roll out of here. Pretty quiet going down the road. I know the clutch on this one definitely lets out at the top and having a sticky throttle at the same time makes it a little bit difficult. So that's something that might need to be adjusted and worked out. And of course, once we get back to the lot, I'm going to be picking out the flaws, chip scratches, anything I can find, which goes over the rest of the vehicle. Hey guys, I'm right around the corner from the lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you here in just a moment.
Okay, got the trunk, got the hood open. We're gonna walk around this ride, point out Chip Scratch's flaws, check the body out, and then check out the inside. We'll also get her started up. Listen to that motor. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. That way you know everything about this ride, and we'll get started here. So up in the front, nice pretty chrome bumper. It looks fairly new. It's in good shape. The grill on this one's a little oxidized, but can be cleaned up. Let's have a ding right here. Coming down the side. Little spots there that have been painted over. Little chip there. Slight bubble in the corner of the door there. Chips on the edge. You got some thick paint right here. And a paint run right there. Light crack. Back here, you got some dings in the trim. Little spot there. Door handles look pretty good. So up here on top, little imperfections in the paint, some chips right there. Also right here on the edge. Light little scratches. The paint is hazy on this one. Could use a buff job. It would definitely turn out. Front windshield. I don't see any chips or big scratches. A little hazy on the mirror there. Got a few chips here. A little pitting right here around your vent window. spots popping up there through the paint back window on this one looks pretty good the trim looks pretty good around it the roof here you got some chips around the edges right there so a lot of this stuff's wiping off seems like it uh, a buff job would definitely clean this car up quite a bit you do got a few little spots here and there coming around the back the seal around the trunk is in good shape all your jams look pretty good so they've glued this carpet down back here you can actually see how tight they glued it down so i'm not going to rip all that up and mess up the job that has been done in here. Looking around in the trunk, on the lid, pretty good shape. This is a humongous trunk. Coming down with it. Comes down pretty easy. And locks. Lower portion back here, back bumper's in great shape. got some spots popping up there a couple little bubbles in the paint here there and there 
the ding in the trim right here. But over the top, the chips, huge trunk. Seems to be lining up pretty well. Okay, coming down this side, lower portion. You've got some work that's been done here. You can see some scratch marks in the side there. You've got some bubbling popping up here. You also got some scratch marks down on this side where it's been worked on as well. Yeah, thick paint right here on the edge. Also on the bottom, you've got more sanding marks been painted over bubbles down at the bottom here sandy marks here bondos inside the door bubbles at the bottom coming up over scuff marks on the fenders back to midsection scuff marks there paint runs little bubbles door handle looks pretty good a lot of the trims in good shape on this one over the top here thick on the paint there as well back window looks pretty good not bad at all you got pitting on your windows on the side here you got pitting right here as well and up over your roof A little stuff popping up here and there that's dirt dirt cracking the paint Overall, the roof's not bad at all. Front windshield on this one. Not really seeing any cracks, scratches, or chips. Top of that fender. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the interior. We'll get her started up. We'll listen to the motor. Door sticks a little bit. That door panel looks awesome. Nice and fancy looking. Weather stripping around the edges. Not too bad. Under the door. And the edges here. Little spot there. Weather stripping's a little boogered there in the corner. See, they put some screws in it to hold it in. Coming uh, around on the interior now. The seat looks great. The carpet looks great. Not all tore up. And around in the back. Package tray. Headliner. Well, let's jump in here. We'll get her started up. I'm going to give her a little gas. Bit of an exhaust leak on this side. Mo 
motor's running pretty smooth other than that. Insulation still all up under the hood here. Down with the hood. The cracks there on the edge. Spot there on the edge as well. You got a few bubbles. She locks. Comes down pretty easy. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, hit like. And I'll keep making these videos. I do this every day. That way you know exactly what you're getting from Maple Motors. So when we buy these cars, all we do is clean them up. And then I get over here and point out the flaws. I walk around them. I test drive them. And I do that on purpose because a lot of these cars go out of state. With that being said, we have financing, shipping, and detailed pictures inside out and underneath. And I hope you enjoyed the video because I'm going to go do another one. Thanks again, guys.